Is it possible to be in two places at once? Maybe we all carry a piece of what we just left. Dothan, Alabama is my mother's home, and I've spent some of every summer here. The only thing changing between them is age. People know me as Karen's daughter and remember me by name. It's a place that seems to feel complete, for it doesn't live in any state of lack, but rather in the overwhelming presence of what is, with long, full days in the heat that never seem to end. They only continue with the sun that rises again. I just got the mail. They're getting out some junk. Junk mail? Junk, just junk. Just junk. Yeah. <laughs> you hear thunder. It's supposed to get a thunderstorm. It's gonna be nice. Those are peanuts out there growing in the field. No, but hey, you get one, you get a few, I think, right? Okay, because otherwise we'll get them. Just, the birds is eat them, uh, or whatever. Okay. Well, it's, but they ain't no good bugs yet. I, ain't, okay. they, they but, but I, guess, bugs. I guess my only question is, I don't want to be greedy if any of your other friends swarm them. Yeah. I once asked my mother what she loved most about this place, and she said it was the sunsets. They were the same ones her grandmother saw, and they are the same ones we were now seeing. And there's a small miracle in that found in the sun sitting over peanut fields. Kelly's dinner bell. Rudy, come on. Oh, boy. He's <laughs> got to come now. Oh, he didn't go to the vet tomorrow. <laughs> he got to go to the doctor tomorrow. He gets them shots. He don't like them shots. He gets trembling when he goes up the highway over there. He knows. He knows what's happening. He's a good boy. He's the way I is.
was hot today, huh? They do the job up right, ain't they? Some days speak more strongly to the diversity of life than others. This was one of them. And this is Sean Carey. He wrote a poem entitled Lucy, one inspired by the shared interest in what the writer is able to express to which I leave modestly here. I don't wake up every day and do it, and I love, like, I want to do the work, yeah. We're tethered. 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 We're
the start of this day, I had no plan. I went to grab an espresso and I sat outside next to a lady in her mid-40s and a dog. So I said hi and we started talking. And she was a native New Yorker and lived on the street. And she told me that I needed to go and walk down night and just keep walking until I met the harbor. And so I did. I stopped and got L Street Pizza on the way, per her recommendation, and I ended up at the Whitney Museum on a spontaneous whim. And it was perfect. There are so many stories I could tell you about this time. Like how I met a boy named Sean in the park, and he taught me how to play chess. Or how when I went out for a spontaneous night in Brooklyn, I ended up at Paul's. But I think my favorite amongst all of them is that on the taxi ride out to JFK on my way to catch a red-eye flight. I had a driver named Tony who was from Naples and had a niece who played violin. And he shared with me his very own story. And on my way out, he wished me to have a very nice life. And when I looked at him, I meant it. And I said the same. <laughs>